everybody. And um, I would like to welcome you and thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, the Perry Middle School Drama Club is so excited to have you out to see our performance. We have worked really hard. Um, I just want to thank you all for picking your kids up late every day and just being here to support them and helping them to remember lines. Um, middle school drama isn't as privileged as high school to have a class where they can go to every day and rehearse and everything. So everything we do is after school and um, outside of all of the things that you all already have your kids signed up for. And usually the kids that do this do everything else as well. So anyway, I just want to um, welcome you and I hope that you enjoy the show. And now the Perry Middle School Drama Club presents Zombio and Juliet. Yeah, and Ty thinks he's found out a way to kill them. That's why we're here. 
beer. I thought we were here to buy shotgun shells and orange Julius, but Ty also wanted us to get a sword and some store mannequins. We keep shooting them in the chest and they keep walking. Well, they don't really walk, it's more like a shuffle. <laughs> Seriously, we've tried staking them like bands. That doesn't work. Ty thinks if we cut off their heads, that would do the trick. That explains the sword, but why mansion? Target practice. Oh my god. It's Adam Montgomery. Look, man, we don't want any trouble. Yeah, I just, uh, I, uh, I need my Julian face today. <coughs> I'm hungry. That's why I'm here. Pretzel? Are you biting my thumb? Thumb? Mm. No. <laughs> I need that. Give it back. No, me. No, me. Yeah, it's my nummy goodness. He bit my thumb. You, you bit my thumb? Did you see him bite my thumb, sir? <laughs> Yo, zombies! Anyone fights here again, 
you all will be banned from the mall, and that means no more music for any of you. Salty? Okay. 
Maybe we should just, I don't know, lay low for a while. Lay low? No way, man. It's your death day. That only happens once. We can go to the old folks home. They're slow, so they're easy to catch. No, they're a little stringy. <laughs> uh, yum. <laughs> but don't think I'm quite ready for that yet.
go talk to her? I think I should. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have to lose? Probably my heart. Go talk. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hi. So, um, good party. Yeah. Sure. Nice costume. Original. See? I told you it was a good costume. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
You can ask him tomorrow. On your date? Maybe he gives you the doll. He gives you the wigglies, doesn't he? Totally. I can understand that. That's how time makes me feel. So, anything happen on that front tonight? Well, he did give me a compliment on my costume. Really? What did he say? He said, words couldn't fully describe how I looked. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone to the party as a vampire. Ooh, if I would have went as a vampire, then he would have noticed me. Don't be silly. Vampires aren't real. Only zombies are real. And leprechauns. You know I don't look good in Go to sleep. Okay. You turning in? Not quite. I'm restless. Okay. Get to bed soon. You've got to get your outcomes. Beauty sleep. Hey. Aren't you, Romeo? Romeo! 
Who said anything about Romeo? I'm Ron Bieber. Take your speech. When you give a girl a line like that. It wasn't a line, really. I don't usually talk this way to girls. So you usually talk this way to boys. I mean, <laughs> not like there's anything wrong with that or anything. No, not usually to boys either. I haven't really talked this way to anybody before. I don't quite know if that's a compliment. It totally is. I'm just not doing a very good job of it. You're getting better. So, you want to go see a movie? Mm, I don't want to see a movie. We can't talk and get to know each other. Yeah, true. But there's the arcade, and I don't suppose you want to go there. I totally want to go. I love uh, playing video games. Really? Really. My favorites are Zombie Sniper, Zombie Attack, House of the Dead, Zombie Revenge, and Dance Dance Revolution. I'll totally smoke you, too. Smoke me. <laughs> oh, right. You really like video games. Really, let's go. Um, Ty, I really need to get some uh, new PJs. Yeah, and Victoria's Secret is this way. I'm not going to Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot uh, my mom. My dad needed me to, need to work something. today. Uh, you have to go. You, you too. too. I'm really sorry about this. Yeah, me too. Hey, there's a dance this Friday night. Want to go with me? Yeah, sure. I'll text you later with the details. Perfect. I'm sorry, I really have to go. Montgomery. Ah. Uh, Montgomery, but his name is Beaver. Ron Beaver. No, it's not. It's Romeo Montgomery. Romeo Montgomery, but you told Juliet. Hey, aren't you, uh, dead? Newly, thanks to you. And do I have to finish you off with good? You need to stay away from my cousin. Don't you think she should make that decision for herself? Look, Ty, huh, I don't like a grain with zombies and all, but he's right. She should totally decide who she dates. Then again, she should have been able to make an informed decision. You should have told her the truth. I know, I know. She's never thought lying to her. Turn out badly. You're so stupid. Man. And let that be a lesson to all of you out there that you did It is never a good idea to lie. Never. <laughs> it is always best to tell the truth no matter how hard it may be. In the end, it'll make you look better. And, and your friends will hate you. you. <laughs> I should have never listened to Mickey. Dude, you should always listen to me. These Juliuses, Ju Julia, whatever, these things are like crap. <clears throat> They're amazingly addictive. I know, right? I could drink like seven a day. Shut up. Both of you need to clear out and stay away from my cousin. Cousin? He found out. Obviously. You're going to leave? The mom has a pick with the place. We can be here if we want. Go on in your own, or I'll force you to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ty, look, they're not doing anything. Chill out. <coughs> Listen to the grown man. Chill out. I don't want to chill out, man. Hey, guys, guys, both of you, there's no reason to fight here. You monsters are every reason to fight. Wait. No, no! What's the big deal? I didn't chop off her head or anything. Give her a few minutes and she should. Get back up again. No, she won't. She's not a Montgomery and she's not a zombie. She's just a girl we knew. What? I killed a human? That's right, big shot. Ty, you didn't know it. <laughs> okay. No, it's not okay. She was my best friend. <laughs> no, Romeo, what did you do? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm so stupid. <laughs>
the mall, the one the five, the mom gonna race and run. What? Slow down. What happened? Okay. Ron <laughs> killed uh Ty. Why would Ron kill Ty? He's not Ron. He's Romeo Montgomery. Who's Romeo Montgomery? Ron! Only he's not Ron! His real name is Romeo! Romeo Montgomery! Ron's a zombie. Yes! That's what I've been saying. No, you haven't, but go ahead. Okay, so Ty and Mickey got in a fight, then Ty killed Mickey, then Romeo killed uh, Ty. I, I don't believe it. Believe it? I was there. I saw everything. <laughs> Ty's dead, and Romeo killed him. Yes. And I'm supposed to go to the dance with him on Friday. And I was supposed to go with Ty on Friday. Oh wait, can I ask you out? Really? Yeah, it was really sweet too. We were at the mall, and then he bought me more joyous. And then I dropped my straw, but he caught it right before it hit the ground, so it was good. And then he did it on one knee. It was so perfect. Aww. And then Romeo ruined everything! Well, Ty did kind of start it. He killed Mickey first. Are you seriously going to stand up for the zombies? Uh, of course not. <laughs> of course not. Are you kidding me? No. Well, you're breaking your date with Romeo, right? Uh, of course not. What? I can convince him that I still like him and that I think killing Ty was all just an accident. But why? Why would you do that? Because you really love him, don't you? Then I can go to the dance and be close to him. You do love him. Are you guys going to go to the dance to get secretly married, which your parents will hate? So you'll have to go to an apothecary that'll make you look dead. Then you both can live and run away from the couple ever after. No. So that I can get my revenge. I must decapitate. I understand my job. But do you really think you can do it? You're not even finished with training it. I know enough. I'm sure I can do it. And now we have come to the final scene. Who holds for death? Hey, hey. 
Hey, what's going on here? Did you really think I could let you live after you killed Ty? You're a zombie. You're a killer. But I thought we had something. I thought you loved me. Here's the rub. I do love you. I really do. But I still have to do my job. No, you don't. We can be together. We can run away together. No, we can't. Don't you see? You're not right. You can't be allowed to live. Who says? I do. I say, oh, happy dagger, here is thy sheep. What? I've been studying a little English, too. <laughs> They're rough and they die. You do realize stabbing zombies doesn't kill them, right? Oh, she knows. Here, Kev. Finish him.
Clayton. And we cannot forget our illustrious storyteller, Emma O'Neill. Last but not least, Romeo and Juliet, Austin Yeomans, and Sierra Benson. 